the leather jacket empire is officially trembling. For 10 years, NVIDIA has been the undisputed god king of AI. They've built a monopoly so strong that their software moat, CUDA, is basically a hostage situation for developers. If you wanted to train a model, you paid the Jensen tax and you liked it, but that dominance just faced its first real existential threat, and it's coming from the quiet kid in the back of the class, Google. For years, Google's TPUs, tensor processing units, were treated like a weird internal science fair project, but they just dropped their seventh generation chip, Ironwood, and the vibe has shifted from cute project to industry killer. The market is so terrified of this thing that a single report about Meta, one of NVIDIA's biggest whales, considering a switch to Google, wiped $250 billion off NVIDIA's market cap in an afternoon. That is enough money to buy a small country, gone because Mark Zuckerberg looked at a different menu. NVIDIA actually had to go on the defensive, claiming they are still generations ahead, which is exactly what you say when you're definitely not panicked. Here is the David vs. Goliath reality check. NVIDIA's GPUs are the jack of all trades. They are general purpose beasts designed to run crisis, simulate weather, and train AI. But that flexibility is a silicon tax. A huge chunk of that expensive chip is just dead weight when you're doing pure AI math. Google's TPU, it is an ASIC, an application-specific integrated circuit. It is a master of one. It doesn't do graphics, it doesn't do physics. It does matrix multiplication, the math that powers neural networks, and it does it with something called a systolic array. Instead of constantly talking to memory, which is slow and annoying, data flows between thousands of tiny calculators like a bucket brigade. It is violently efficient. And we are now in the inference era. Running these models for millions of users is expensive. Using a flexible, power-hungry NVIDIA GPU for inference is like using a Ferrari to deliver Uber Eats. Sure, it gets there, but you are burning more cash than fuel. The TPU is a hyper-efficient, boring delivery van that costs pennies to run, and the new Ironwood chip is four times faster than the last one. But the chip isn't even the scary part, it's the wiring. NVIDIA connects 72 GPUs into a massive cluster, cute. Google's Ironwood pods connect over 9,000 TPUs into a single hive mind, and they do it using optical circuit switching. They are literally using tiny mirrors to redirect beams of light, creating a network with zero latency. It's basically disco ball technology, but it allows Google to scale in a way that NVIDIA's electrical cables physically can't. Google's software stack has finally matured from glitchy mess to production ready. Anthropic just committed to using up to 1 million of these TPUs to train their next models. You don't order a million chips unless the software actually works. Like and subscribe before the algorithm replaces me with a TPU.